Hey guys, back with another Echoing Thoughts podcast here, episode number 15. And in this episode, I really, it's been a week since the March update, which was a huge rebalance of 22 classes, but also mainly the crit rate uncapping patch, right? Breaking the game, changing the meta completely from, you know, crit res classes becoming, you know, back to the norm. Everyone, fair game, 100% crits across the board in all contact, in all content, and just changing the game, right? Numbers are previous scores in all, in bossing, in Mulong, in covert, in any content. It's just dwarfed compared to what it is now. And in this video podcast, I really just wanted to talk about the meta, right? And the meta, we talk about the meta is always changing. And this one is the crit rate, crit damage meta. And people are freaking out. People I see are just unsure, right? They, they're they flustered. People are don't know what to do. Um, the new hyper stat extra book um, page allowed, you know, people to reroll off a of party XP, EXP, and focus on training and bossing. And people are asking all kinds of questions about what hyper stats to go. Should we choose max crit damage before boss attack? Should we even do physical damage now? Should we just go crit damage? I'm going to be here to kind of explain my thinking, uh, why I think this is still the best way to improve your damage. And I'm going to do it through the damage calculator. And if you don't know the damage calculator, there's a lot of different ones out there. I've seen multiple ones. And this one that I'm going to share with you is the best one that I've I've seen. Um, because it incorporates just, it's just really dummy proof for me personally. I like using it. I can just put in the numbers here in multiple places and it just, just makes it really easy for me to punch in my numbers, test things, see what's works and what's not, um, and see the results. And so really I'm going to answer, try to answer your questions as best I can, um, and explain it through the damage calculator in this one. So if you're listening on the podcast, I'll try to explain it. Um, as best as I can, but definitely check it out on YouTube. You'll see the damage calculator that I'm talking about. Um, but first, kind of the best thing that I saw this week, um, just just the numbers across the board, really. Uh, it, it has to do with covert scores hitting up to 12K, um, you know, people hitting, what, 80K now in load, 80 bill DPM in Lotus. Um, the echo change as well has really allowed top tier players and classes to get echo and cross the entire fight and really maximize their damage. Um, everything, the, the rebalances, the changes, I think everything, just another great patch in my opinion, update. I don't see anyone complaining. Maybe people are complaining about fair trade. It is what it is. You still got time to roll over to Necro. I was thinking about this earlier. If you do it, when we do end up absolute labbing, our necro weapons, do we still get fair trade? Because that kind of changes a lot of things in other content, maybe not bossing, but in things like Covert and Mulong, where maybe crit attack comes back into play. If we don't get fair trade, not going to 100% crit, scores may go down with an absolute weapon. But just something I was thinking about, I don't know the answer. I'm not going to get into it. But again, um, I think it's interesting when people are, you know, Talk about fair trade and things like that. Is it going to become obsolete once people start getting Absolab weapons? But after that, let's let's kind of just get into it. Um, I wanted to share my my damage calculator. Um, see if I can share it right here. So we're back. Uh, Had some technical difficulty, but here we are. Um, this is a damage calculator that I use. And I've got this sent to me from someone else, um, Legacy DA. So appreciate him. I'll link the description below to help you guys out, show you, you know, give you guys access to this. And I just made a copy of it and I went crazy with it. I got my tabs at the bottom, kind of testing out different things and I'll break it down and how I use it. I just started tinkering with it more recently because of this crit damage patch, because of this podcast to give you guys a little bit of insight on what I've been doing. But the first thing you have to understand about the damage calculator is that, or this one, this spreadsheet in particular, is it's very user-friendly, right? Just put in your stats right here on the B column, 
um, physical damage, or you could choose magic attack as well. If you scroll over, it gives you both options, right? Um, basically, just put in your stats here, and then you could add in class buffs, things like that. And basically see how each class buff affects your lines. Um, in this column right here, in column L20, LM20, this is the ones that we're focusing on, crit lines, right? Non-crit lines don't matter. None of this stuff is, this is a little bit outdated. This is from 2020 when it was last updated where, you know, the game has been much different. But now in this current meta, all we're really looking at is crit lines, not average boss damage, things like that, crit res, none of that. The straight crit lines and I added in a little divine echo row here our column just to show kind of what my divine echo lines would be hitting pretty simple but i like this one because it has class buffs separated it has buffs all together so you can see all the buffs 50s 30s if you want to use all these buffs tangs boss rush fever max everything it makes it super user friendly easy and then this next column here is hyper skills so this is where i do a lot of my changing um, it doesn't really matter where you change it like if you change for example final damage in this column b versus final damage in this column k versus this fi this final damage in column n it's all going to translate to this final buffed stats column in column q so um, in this particular tab um, basically what i did was I made everything 200% right here. Physical attack, physical damage, boss attack, crit damage, and final damage, all 200%. And the reason for this was, is just a number, keep it simple, keep it, you know, consistent to see adding, you know, to see which one has the greatest impact if all things were equal, right? And so what I did was to test this was very simple. I just went down the line, added 10% physical attack. And I'm looking at these highlighted lines right here, crit lines. So I like to look at the divine echo lines. It doesn't really matter. It's at 12.378 mil. And I'm going to add physical attack, 12.54, 10%, 12.54, 12.79 physical damage, 12.746. So we have physical damage is greater than boss attack, which is greater than physical attack in this scenario so i now go back so now crit damage two twelve seven six four so greater than boss attack but not greater than physical damage so physical damage is greater than crit damage is greater than boss attack is greater than physical attack again if all of these are equal at 200 percent and then the last one is final damage and you'll see final damage actually is the exact same as physical damage. So in this controlled environment, 200% across the board for all stats, the total result, the final result is final damage is equal to physical damage. Then next is crit damage, 10%, boss attack, and then last is physical attack. Now, some people, I think this is what threw people off a little bit um, with this new meta was they were like, they saw this at the calculator or they kind of crunched the numbers and they're like, crit damage is better like since we're not we don't have any non crit lines anymore um everything should be crit damage right and so yes in a sense um but it depends on where you're doing it right and i think and people need to remember that the damage calculator this damage calculator is from 2020 and it hasn't changed right because the meta has changed it doesn't mean the calculator has changed and what the calculator is telling us is that still right final damage equals physical damage is greater than CD, BA, physical attack, if everything's the same. But let's be real. Not everything's the same, right? Most people have around 400, 300, 400 crit, crit damage, 100, 150 boss attacks. So it's usually around 3 to 1, 2 to 1, 2 to 5 to 1, whatever it is. Maybe even 4 to 1 crit damage to boss attack. And that scenario, I'll kind of break it down later on, but you pretty much have a good idea that there's what we call like diminishing returns right? Like 10% of 400 is just not adding 10%, 400% is not as impactful as adding 10% to 100% boss attack, right? So that's the way I think of it. I think people, if you're 
contemplating or debating, uh, changing things around, right? Based on this meta, meta, don't, right? Don't think too hard about it. The, the, the things are still the same, right? Souls, it's still going to go final damage souls, boss attack souls, and then those are pretty much the two only viable options. EXP, if you're an EXP build, but crit damage is never an option. And, and that doesn't have to do with flames. People think it has to do with flames, but it doesn't, right? It just strictly has to do on the fact that 1% boss attack um, based on people's builds is going to be greater than 1% crit damage if you're using, if your stats look more like this. So let's look at this example, right? 30K physical attack, right? And so these are my stats. Everything is my stats except for the physical attack. I changed it to 30K as an example. Now, so in this situation, my crit damage is almost 500%. My boss attack is almost 225%. Remember, this is with this is with all buffs, right? All class, all 50% buffs, tangs, everything. So I'm getting inflated there. And then, right, final damage is that 200%. And that's where people need to realize that final the final damage from nodes is this, right? So I have in my hyper stats here, 140%, 20% is from a hyper skill. Hyper skill is, you know, for my blast skill, which is the attack I'm focusing on. And then 120% from level 60 nodes. And you also get another 10% physical damage from having a level 20 node. So that's where all these stats add up, no matter where you have them in the calculator. I mean, where you get them from, final damage is final damage. Physical damage is physical damage. It's all calculated the same. So you can see my stats are inflated, right? I'm at, I'm at 243 physical attack. 240, my physical damage is at 214. My final damage is around 200. So it's not far off, right? But still, but still, and my boss attack is around 224, but my crit damage is almost is at 493, right? So over double everything else, right? So in this scenario, right? In this scenario, it, it doesn't make sense for just crit damage it's going to have to be basically, if you think about it, 1% BA is going to equal to around 2.5%-ish, less than 2.5% crit damage, right? And that's that sort of adds up, right? That sort of checks out. And so um, what people need to understand is I'll do a little test right here. We're going, to, we're going to see at 30K physical attack, what is the best bang for your buck, right? Is it final damage? Is it physical damage, crit damage, or is it just adding straight raw physical attack? And so at 30K physical attack, I'm going to add 3K, so 10%. So my divine echo lines are going to hit 19.4 mil. So then I'm going to do, let's say it's around 30 physical attack, physical damage, sorry, 19.3. So a little bit more, just under 19.4. So it's about 31, 32 physical damage percent equals 3,000 physical attack. So now let's look at final damage, right? So final damage, let's say it's around 425. So we're going to probably need around, so 30, so I went up from to around 30% more final damage and I got the same as 3,000 attack. So this is, so guys, this is when this is 30k physical attack was the meta back in the day, right? When Neckles first started coming out, maybe fifth job started coming out. 30k physical attack, 30 to 35k physical attack was the peak, right? This was before Androids, this was maybe before Mythic Flames. This was a few years back before Symbols, Choo Choo, um, Latch, maybe even Arcane. No, Arcane Symbols still there. But the point is 30k physical attack, this was the meta a few years back. And this was when it was hard to get, this is where people thought 1,000 physical attack equals 10% final damage, right? And that holds true in this calculations. That's where people are getting this information from, but they don't just make it up, right? So that holds true, right? 1,000 physical attack equals 10% final damage. So in this case, if you're, at, if you're at this stage in the game, maybe you don't have a Necker weapon, maybe you're... Um, 
just hit level 200, just started leveling up your symbols, things like that. In this stage of the game, 3,000 physical attack is much easier to get than 30% final damage. And they're going to equal the exact same thing, right? So in this instance, if this was what your gear looked like, you would you would focus on adding more physical attack, whether upgrading your flames, whether maybe getting an android, maybe getting improving your secondary weapon, um, maybe adding more star force or exalting your weapon to get more attack. Either way, that's the route you would take, right? Because 3,000 physical attack is much easier to get than 30% final damage. 30% final damage is really, really hard to get. Um, so that is an example of 30k physical attack. That used to be the old meta. That's where people got this information from. But now 40k physical attack. This is people, level 40 necro, maybe a legendary secondary weapon, maybe have their symbols, their, you know, choo-choo symbols leveled around 215. You know, they kind of got about, you know, they're around this 40k physical attack. This is sort of the new um, level 40. This is the new, you know, baseline, in my opinion. A lot of people are around 38 to 40, 42k physical attack, depending on flames and things like that. This is sort of like low, this is sort of arc and lotus tiered, maybe um, arc but testing out Lotus tier, right? Or thinking about doing Lotus. So again, excuse me. So let's say we add another 10%, right? But at this time it's 4,000 physical attack, right? Oh, we'll do, we'll do 4,300, 43,000. So 43K, right? So now we're gonna go up to 25,286 on Divine Echo Lines, 25 mil, and 286,000. So if this is the case, right? 25869. So 25.2 versus 25.869. So let's say it's about 25.2, So about 22, so 3K physical attack equals around 22%, 22% final damage, right? So we'll do this one more time, 25.286. So basically it's around 22% phys physical damage. So then let's say this one is about, let's say 25, oh shoot, oh no. So 30, 25, so 55, it's about 54. 53, yeah, so 53. So 23, around 23 PD, right? So again, not much different, 25.2, 25.2. So at this stage in the game, right? 40k physical attack. If you add 3,000 physical attack, it's not the conversion isn't the same, right? It's 3k physical attack equals 22% final damage, 23% physical damage. So this is just something interesting. Um, as you get higher physical attack, right? 3,000, right? Then adding more physical attack isn't as that same 3,000 physical attack is not the same as when you were at base of 30k physical attack, and that makes sense, right? When you were at 30K physical attack, adding 3K is 10%. But now at 40K as your base physical attack, 3K is what, 8%, uh, whatever, 70, 80%, um, 70, 80% increase, which is why it's equivalent to 22% physical damage, 23% phys um, physical damage, 22% final damage. In other words, right? If you add, basically, physical attack becomes less impactful, right? Compared to percent stats, right? Compared to what it used to be. So now at 40K physical attack, right? This is kind of where I'm at right now. This is where, you know, level 50 weapon, symbols leveled, mythic secondary, good flames, all these things. This is sort of the end, end game. 
you know, 48 to 50K physical attack, right? And say I added, again, 5,000 attack or 3,000 attack, sorry. I go up one, just under 30 mil. So let's see. So 3K physical attack equals around 18 to 19 final damage, right? So let's just round up. Oh, yeah. We'll just do 18 final damage, right? And then this one's probably around 19. Yeah. So, so basically... What this is saying is that at the higher levels, right, the end end game, increasing your base physical attack, the same amount, 3K, is just not as impactful as percent stats, right? So 18 final damage, 18% final damage is much less than 30, right? So it just kind of goes to show you that all I'm trying to show you is that it depends on saying what to upgrade depends really on where you're at, where your base stats are, um, and really what you're trying to, you know, how much it's going to cost, right? And I think one of the things that you have to understand now is that the final damage, right? My final damage is at 200%. If you have level 60 nodes, you're going to have a base of 120%. And then you have 15% of final damage uh, from hyper stats and just your skill percent, like from base final damage from any class buffs or things like that, you can get up to 200% final damage pretty, pretty easily. And then that will be right on par with physical damage, right? And then the point I'm trying to make is that physical damage and final damage basically become equal. And I've seen higher tier players, I think I've seen Tazo, um, the Evan, he actually chose magic damage over final damage because of this exact reason, right? He did in the calculator that for him personally, because of his build, he has a little bit more final damage, I assume, which is why physical damage, which, which is why magic damage was actually better um, for him personally at his, in his situation. And he showed this in his YouTube video. He, um, someone commented it. Um, I saw it and I thought that was very interesting, right? And it, it makes sense based on this calculator. Now, again, right, if you want to talk about boss attack versus crit damage, right? Let's say you're deciding between, but well, first of all, right, the big question that I've seen was 15% crit damage or 20% boss attack, right? For hyperstats, right? Because level because maxing level 20 hyperstat. 15% crit damage or 20% boss attack. Let's just try it for my situation, right? So if I have 15%, barely anything, right? Not even 29 mil for my divine echo lines. And then for this, almost 30 mil, right? So boss attack is clearly better, right? So if I did, even if I did 10, 18.9 and 10, 18.6, boss attack is still twice as better. And that correlates, right? That matches the ratio at which my crit damage is to my boss attack, right? So it's just very, you know, this is sort of the name of the game, right? And and I think people get too focused or, you know, flustered and, and overblown about, you know, boss attack having to go full CD emblem. That's ideal right? Obviously, right? More crit damage is going to be more, more crit damage is going to be higher numbers overall, but you have to take it with a grain of salt, right? I still encourage people to have a base, a balance, because if your boss attack was say half of what mine's is, right? My boss attack is base of 154. Say you were a hundred, Right? Say this was just 100. So, I mean, basically, that's just the difference between boss rush potion or not, right? And 
the point is that in this instant, if I were to have a hundred less boss attack, then that means 10% boss attack, um, imp- you know, is way more impactful than crit damage would be, than 20% crit damage would be, in my opinion. Right, so we'll kind of test it out right here. So say this is 100. So I'm doing 24.179. And say I have, this is this is just me choosing emblem ratios, right? If I want to go boss attack or crit damage. So 24.179, 24.92. It's not that far off, right? Look at that gap, 24.968 versus 24.92. So again, right, this is what if you have 100% boss attack. So maybe some people have 50, 75, even more so, right? Say you have 75% boss attack, then you're at 23.068. Boss attack is better than crit damage, right? So you'll see again, if you're at 75 base, you're gonna hit 20, if you had 10% boss attack, 23.068 mil for my divine echo lines versus 20% crit damage is 23.055. It's not, it's marginal, but boss attack is still better. And that is because of this ratio right here, right? You see that like this difference is huge, right? 150 to 500, I mean, it makes sense why it's good to have a balance, right? Yes, crit damage, like if just crit damage is king in a sense, but that's only if you have the prerequisite amount of boss attack, right? If you have a certain amount and then, and then crit damage obviously is going to become king overall is going to have more gains compared to boss attack. But again, that is why it's situational, right? And that's why this damage calculator is is great, right? It, it depends on your build. You can put in your numbers, you can test it out and see. And you can also just see how impactful class buffs are, right? Why you want to have a bishop in your party? My, my numbers go like, like, okay, yes, this number is 51 mil, 55 mil, 55 mil just from a class buff. And then you add, you know, speed infusion, same thing. Like these, all of these add up. If we just check all oh, the boxes, right? I already have Pally, I'm a Paladin, so I'm not gonna check that one. But like I went up 10, like 33.9, 34 mil versus 28 mil for my clone lines. Now, again, take this with a grain of salt, right? Um, this is, these numbers are just numbers. They're not gonna directly translate. Bosses obviously have more defense. You're not gonna hit this hard, but the gains are the gains, right? And at the end of the day, like you just have to understand what is impacting these final numbers, these buff stats here in this column Q. Remember, final damage from nodes is this is why this is why nodes are number one priority, right? Level 60, because that's a free 120% final damage for your main skills. And as we saw, final damage is king, right? And so this is also why the meta um, is all about cap. Like look at this number right here, these crit lines. Obviously, this is astronomical, but this is what it is. Right. And imagine like like if you can uncap this, you can be do so much more damage, right? Because you're actually still going to cap these lines and you're just uncapping all of your lines that you're hitting. So I hope this helped. Um if you guys have any questions, um, maybe things to add, things you guys have done. You've seen this damage calculator before, and you know, you have input, things that you guys test that I do differently. This is just a general recap, right? Hopefully it helps you guys understand that everyone's situation is different based on their stats. And when people ask me for help and opinion, um, it really depends on gear, right? It really depends on what your stats are and what you need to prove on. But my kind of general rule of thought is that if you're lacking in one area, that's you know, you want to improve your weaknesses first, right? So if you're lacking in 
physical attack, magic attack, that base, right? You saw if you're at 30K, 35K, increasing that base is what's going to have the greatest impact. And then as you start to get that base of physical attack, you know, 40, 45K ish, then the percent stats have greater value, right? And then the physical attack becomes less, um, you know, just becomes less important, right? Um, and then percent stats start to pick up. And if you're lacking boss attack, for example, if you're going full crit, crit damage, yes, it looks nice on the calculator, but boss, don't sleep on the boss attack. I showed you that if you're, you know, under 100, if you are have like 500, 550 crit damage with buffs and fever and things like that, and you're at like 150 boss attack or you're at your 100 plain boss attack, don't sleep on the boss attack. Don't sleep on improving that to increase your damage. It's probably maybe a cheaper option too. Um, boss attack is a lot easier to get. 1% boss attack through pots, through you know changing your souls up, um, things like that. Boss attack is not better bang for your buck and tends to be cheaper, especially for emblems. So, and that's why for me, I'm, I'm currently at around, I think I'm balanced. I have five CD and four BA. Um, if you, if you include my secondary weapon and I think that's perfectly fine. Right. I think that allows me to have a good balance. My crit damage is going to go up with more um, more gear. My boss attack is going to go up with more gear. And that is what's going to benefit me more than um, in the long run. So I hope this helps. Uh, I hope I'll share this link again with you guys in the comments. If you're on podcasts, you want to check out the actual spreadsheet. It'll be on the YouTube channel. I hope this helps. I hope this helps answer you guys' questions. And if you guys have any, you know, if you guys are still confused or things like that, don't be afraid to DM me on Discord, comment in YouTube. Uh, I'll try to clear things up. This was sort of just me walking through my tabs, what I've been doing. And then I have, you know, I have, I have tabs for my blast attack, which is my main attack. And then I have a tab for my righteous hammers, which is my V skill, which has, you see in this K column, has no final damage because it doesn't have any notes. The skill percent is higher, 335%. But you can see kind of how it balances out, right? The crit lines are still pretty high, 43K, but they obviously don't hit high as blast. It's just it's just nice to see, right? It's easy to put in, change the skill percent, change the tab, change the stats, things like that. See where you can improve on, see what gives you the biggest benefits. That's all it takes, right? This is fun, kind of number crunching. Um, I enjoy it. Um, I don't try to spend too much time on it. I have a good, pretty good grasp of it, but it was nice to reflect on this. And I hope people understand that the calculator has not changed. It's this, it's set in stone, right? No matter if the meta changes or not, no matter, um, the only thing that may change is, you know, your skill percentages, if you get rebalanced or things like that. But overall, this is and has been the tried and true calculator. Um, so I hope this helps. Let me know again. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching wherever. Subscribe, like. I hope this, guys, um, a comment. If you have any questions, hope this helped you guys. Do more damage. Prog progress. Um, you know. Anyways, thank you again for listening, watching. I'll see you guys next time.